Hi, I'm going to show you how to take a regular PlayStation controller and a real guitar and play Guitar Hero 3 on it. Now as you can see this is already the finished product but next I'm going to show you the steps that were taken to get to this point. It's pretty easy, take a look. Okay, first thing you need to do is flip over the controller and take out the seven screws. Okay, once you have the seven screws out, uh, lift off the back cover. Okay, we've got the controller opened up. And the PlayStation uses the shoulder buttons, your left one, left two, right one, right two, as your fretboard buttons. And they also use the X button, which I didn't use because I only want four buttons uh, to go up as high as medium play. Uh, if you were going to play expert, you'd have to wire in your X button as well. So what I did was take the shoulder buttons out. Now the left and right are exactly the same. Uh, it's just two colors on each side. So I'm only going to show you the uh, right side for this video. But basically you pull the switch out. You can take the tabs off and that will come right off. And what you're left with is the circuit card for or your uh, right one and right two buttons. And basically what you're going to want to do is you've got three uh, solder points there and what happens when you push the buttons down on these black um, pads is it makes the connection between the middle portion of that circuit card, the one that looks like a little Game Boy, and it connects it to the outer circuit lines. And that's what gives you your button action. And the center is a ground. So you can use that for both the right one and right two buttons. So, so all you have to do is solder a wire there, there, and there. And then run them out to the back of the controller. And you'll do the same thing on both sides. Now what happens is you've got one wire for one color, another wire for the other color, and the ground in the middle. And whenever you touch the two outside wires to the ground uh, the button on the fretboard will be played so if you were to touch both of them at the same time to the ground then both frets will be played so this is how you play double notes okay next I'm going to show you how to make the pick portion of this mod you're going to need a piece of aluminum foil a guitar pick and your two ground wires, these are the middle wires that you soldered on to the left and right shoulder buttons on the controller. These are the other end. Okay, so you just want to take these two and twist them together. Okay, we've got the pick laying flat, the twisted together ground wires on top of the pick. Now next what we need to do is wrap the pick in an aluminum foil keeping the shape of the pick and basically what you're going to end up with is a metal pick. Okay this is roughly what it should look like when you're done wrapping it with the aluminum foil. As you can see it's just the two ground wires coming in attached to the regular pick uh, wrapped up in aluminum foil this giving you a metal pick. Okay the last step of this mod is attaching your color wires to the strings themselves. Now what you want to make sure is that this portion here is a phenolic surface, this white piece, and not metal. Because if it's metal then this isn't going to work. You need to find another guitar. Because basically you need to have your strings not touching each other. Not electrically connected. Okay. So basically you take your four wires and attach them directly to the strings to the metal portion of the string on each one and uh, what I did was I just wrapped the wires around the string and then pulled it underneath and uh, kept them pretty tight so they stay there pretty easy and then I just used some electrical tape uh, to hold it to the guitar to keep it from moving around while you're playing 
Okay, so now you've got everything hooked up. You've got the wires coming out of the controller, your two ground wires separated, hooked up to the metal pick, and you've got your color wires, however many you choose to put on. I've got four here for four colors on the fretboard, uh, hooked directly up to the metal strings. And uh, first I'll show you a close-up of how this works uh, in theory. So you've got your metal pick, and each time you touch one of these strings, you're grounding out that color on your fretboard. So that color button on the game will play. So this would be green, red, yellow, and blue. Okay, something else I wanted to show you. Uh, when you're playing a game, sometimes you'll have double notes. And to tackle this problem, you can't really strum two strings at the same time, especially if they're not right next to each other. So you would strum one of them down here. And down here, on your fretboard on the guitar, you would hold down those two colors that you need to play. So, say on the game, it has a green and red note played at the same time, you'd hold down the green and red strings on your guitar. And when you play, both frets on the game are pushed. Okay, and now for the test. Alright, so as you can see, it wasn't that hard to do. It took about a half an hour total time to do it. Uh, very cheap, about $5, as long as you already have the soldering iron and soldering and all that stuff. So, and it just adds a touch of realism to the game, and you know, it's fun. And if you don't, uh, you know, can't afford the Guitar Hero guitar, hey, get out your old acoustic and give it a try. Alright, until next time, thank you, and check out ohmcheck.com for more how-to videos.